welcome to today's issue of uh, Cracking the Cryptic. We're going to take a look at the deadly rated killer Sudoku from the Times on Saturday. Um, so, as usual, I'm just going to put in the obvious ones and then we'll see what we find. Okay, uh, so here we go. Um, as usual, there's a couple of um, boxes we should be focusing on here. Let's have a look at this bottom right hand box where we have a 22 and 11 and an 11 so you can see those four boxes or three boxes add up to 44 so this cell must be a 1 uh, in order to make sure the whole box adds to 45 um, and in fact if we look at this box where the cursor is now we've got a similar thing going on so we've got this this cell sort of hanging so we know if we add 21 to 11 32 plus 5 37 this box has to be an 8 for this box doesn't contain an 8. And uh, don't be afraid when you get puzzles like this to keep extending the logic as far as you can when you, when you get a number. So immediately you should be looking at the top right box now. So we know the remaining three cells in the 18 box must sum to 10. We've got the 8 here. So 23, 34. These two cells therefore have to set sum to 11. Um, so we should note their possibilities now, so 2, 3 and 5. And always remember, whenever you see an 8 box with made up of 3 digits, it must contain a 1. Um, so we now know that there is a 1 here or here. And does that help us? I'm not sure it does. I'm looking at the 5 box here, seeing whether you know, this, this can be of any use. Obviously this can only be 2, 3, 4 now. And this can only be 1, 2, 3. But I, I don't think it takes us any further than that. Okay, and the next obvious step is to take a look at this odd configuration of 8s, uh, 7s and 9s in, in these two boxes here. And we know, um, when we've looked at this before, well, where we know that there is a 9 in either this position or this position, and therefore a 9 in either this position or this position. There can't be any 9s anywhere else in row 6 and 7, so that's a useful thing to note. But actually, this particular configuration is more powerful than that, because, because this sort of box of 9s, if you like, extends into two cells, or to two boxes. So we can, we can see, I think, uh, it's obvious that there can't be a 9 anywhere else in the central box. yeah. Because if, if there's a 9 here, there's a 9 here. And that means there can't be a 9 in the box and vice versa. So in fact this can't be a 9, this has to be a 6. Let's fill that in. Okay. And similarly we can't have a 9 anywhere in any of these cells here. Um, so we're, we're limiting the 13 slightly now. Um, in fact, we might as well. Let's just note note down the possibilities because the six here also somewhat limits the thirteen box. So I think that's that's what we can see. And a couple of things that um, are worth noting here, perhaps. Um, firstly, if we look at the eight here, and then we we reference the central box. Um, there's very, very few places in this central box you can place an 8. Um, obviously an 8 can't appear here because that would be contradicting the two 8s we see here. Um, so it could be here. I can't see a reason why this couldn't be 8-3. Um, I think that works. Obviously that would lock this to be a 3 here and make this a 1-4. Still, just about possible that this could occur. That would then be two, three, and this would still, I think, be okay. But there's an eight here or here. And the other thing is that there is a very limited number of positions that the one could appear in the central box as well. Because I mean, this one means you can't have a one here. Um, you can't have a one here because you can't have a one eight combination. So the one is in is in one of these two positions which means the one is also in one of these two positions uh, in the bottom central box. Um, 
but I don't think that allows us to make any further deductions that well nothing further that's going to be useful let's just uh, that too just for the sake of good order <laughs> and um, we've, I talked a bit about the nines uh, in this configuration and I focused very much on the horizontal and also these two box here but a bit stupidly I failed to look at the vertical implications of there being a 9 in these two positions. And let's see how that, or whether that matters, especially for this box. So there can't be any 9s up here like this. And there can't be a 9 in either of these two positions either, because obviously 9 is bigger than 8 already. So in fact, only this, this can be a 9, um, and this has to be an 8. Uh, now, let's see if that helps us. Uh, and of course it immediately immediately gives us this number because we, we work through the 45 uh, rule on this top 3x3 three three box. And these two have to add up to 11. So that's got to be a 3. And this is 1, 4 after all that. So this is 4. One that gives us a two three there. Uh, now we know we need an eleven uh, in these two cells, so five six is impossible. Uh, four seven is impossible. Uh, three eight is possible, and two nine is impossible. So, in fact, this 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 is an eight, which is something that we thought about earlier on. Uh, eight, nine seven nine. Okay, so that does look very helpful now. So this this is now forced to be six seven in this order, and this is forced to be four five, which means that this this is the one that we were looking for, uh, and we're really um, we're starting to make very good progress now, um, and now we can just. Uh, use simple Sudoku logic to see that there must be a 4 in this position, which means this must be a 5. And, okay, so we're left with 1, 2 here, which is also quite powerful. So this is 15, which is obviously that only has two, you can only make 15 in two ways, either 6 9s or 7 8s. So we should make a mental note of that. And what have we got left? We've got three, six, seven in this top box in some order. So again, we should note that. Three, six, seven. So this is eight, five, four. But it can't be four. Okay. And this cell can only be three now, and this can only be two. Let's grab that all the way around. Means we need a two in one of these two positions. Okay, and that's interesting as well because um, we know we're looking for two five eight in this top box, but we we need to bear in mind that we need to be able to make these three cells add up to 17 and given that one of them is already a 2 that they're only uh, clearly this can't include a 5 now because 5 and 2 is 7 and we need a 10 in this position which is which is not possible so in fact this is 2 8 this has got to therefore be a 5 and this has got to be a 6 11, this must be a 7 this must be a 3 okay Three, three, three. That all looks good, and you can immediately um, should be able to see that you can now write in the answer to this cell uh, using our forty-five rule again. So this twenty box has only got seventeen left in these three cells. Seventeen and sixteen is thirty-three, and eight is forty-one. So this is a four, 
and that's nice because 16 in two cells can only be 7, 9, so we should write that in. And OK. Now we've still got to put, what is it, 2, 3, 4, 5 in row 4. Uh, some of those options are ruled out by the 7 and the 9 here. So 2, so 3 is ruled out. 4 is possible, 5 obviously isn't possible. So we get 8, 6 as a possibility here, which I think is still possibly valid. Oh, and obviously we've got, I think we put the 8 in up here. I think it's going to do much for us. I mean, there is an 8 in one of these two positions, but I don't think we can quite tell which one of those two positions it's in at the moment. Just looking. Uh, no. No. And so we'll put two, three, four, five in here. Oh, okay. So there's only one place the three will go in row four now. You only go here. And that might be useful. There's a three in one of these two positions. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Three. Three. That. Okay, so. This now limits. Oh, the five can only be four, one now. And that means it's that way. Can't quite see whether that's going to. I think to seriously limit some of these 11s now, but not quite enough to to actually write them in. Da -da -da. Seven. Not no, not quite. Oh, but this this 13 now can only be four nine because. 5 eighths ruled out by this 8, 6, 7 by this 8, so this is 4, 9, which means it's this way round, 9, 4. Now uh, this 11 now is limited, this can only be 5, 6, like that, which means we have to put 2, 7 in the column still, oh, sugar, 2, 7, which means that this is a 9, I think, and this is 5, 6. And can't see quite how that right. It looks like the puzzle's um, uh, sort of done now, doesn't it? It looks like it's fallen apart. Five, six, five, six. Okay, two, seven, eight to place. Uh, this can only be a seven. And let's put the two, eight in here. And so 10 plus 3 is 13. That means that the 9 is in one of these two positions, which allows us to fill in 4 here. Yeah, so. I'm going to put 2, 5, 6 in. In here, that could be a two. It could also be a five. It can't be a six. So, so this seven is now two five, which fixes this ten as being four six, which gives us a whole load more numbers. So, yeah, I mean the puzzles. I think the puzzle's done now. Um, I'll probably finish it off to music just because uh, it's it's quicker to show it that way. Uh, but I th hope this was interesting. There, were, there was really one key step today, I think, which was using the, this funny box of 17 and 16 as much as we possibly could. And once we used it sort of to its maximum extent, the whole puzzle just seemed to fall apart. So I hope this was interesting, and um, we'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic.